wet because I'm not. What? Did I just do that on my first attempt? Hey, what's up guys? Chanita from Chanita Gaming here and welcome back to Amnesia the Dark Descent Part 11. Now, if you remember in the last video, we literally just dived in this wardrobe like the massive wimp I am. Didn't even I take a glance at the monster and just let him leave. And now we're literally continuing from now, there on in. As always, I have a special guest with me. It's me, once again, Amy Kins from Amy Kins Gaming. Excellent. And now she's going <clears> to <throat> see the terror that we're going to have to go through now. She's looking really far to it, so let's not wait around. Don't let's worry, go. I, brought, I brought spare underwear. We're going to do fine. We're going to do fine. <laughs> yeah, the monster was even nice enough to leave. That was well surprising for me. Anyway, oh, how, how respectful of him. Indeed. We say throwing furniture around. I know. Uh, it could be antique. He panted heavily trying to... Happens to screaming the medicine cabinet that had been returned and a couple of cuts on the floor. He reached through the broken glass door and grabbed all the sedatives he could find. Any more shadow? Any more? No? Okay. Whoa. Oh, hello. Ooh, that's a bomb. Is that a bomb? No, that's, no, that's a, a that's torso. A torso. That's the front and that's the back. I can see his man boobs. It literally looks like the uh, monster just exploded as soon as it comes through the door. I was mm. going to say I'm so pro if that landed right there and just stayed there. But <laughs> I'm not. Oh, I fail. Anyway, we need to go to the machine room now since we had the machine room key and the steam rod. So, do we have to? don't give me a flashback. Don't give me a flashback. Do I insert the steam rods here? No, I don't. I'm going to close one of these because I have a feeling as soon as I go in, I'm going to be chased. You know you just have that feeling guys, it's really awful. Alright, so. Oh, I can't keep doing that. Machine room key. A strange letter frightened him. It was also the only one which offered some comfort. Ugh. Ooh, here we go. This will be fun. Oh yeah, this is the screen's machine room. Thank God we don't have to worry that fucking water thing. Oh, the screen's so no, blurry then. Yeah. Your vision's distorted. I look like water. I was literally shitting bricks. I was literally just about to say, thank God we don't have to go through that water again. And then when you said that, my heart sank. Oh, what was that that flashed? Uh, no. Alright, so this is part one of this puzzle. Machine equipment memo. Note that there are only two spare rods left in the storage for the elevator machinery. Make sure to only discard the ones which are badly damaged and keep the others in the inner study rooms in case all three would crack again. Great. Haven't you got the three of them now? Yeah, I've got them. That's wrong button! Sorry. <laughs> so, this is a flow cycle rod, so... Would it go... Yeah. Huh? Eee. I can hear something behind me. I'm sure I can hear something. Four phase would be a square. So it goes here. And then. It sounds like an electric sparking, doesn't it, behind you? does, yeah. And then triangle. All rods are in place. You need your lamp on. You're scared here now. I've got enough oil, so I'm fine. Don't you freaking dare. I still need to power this up anyway. Nope. Nope. I do. Nope. What the fuck's that sound? It's just the shadow haunting me. It's nothing. Mm. It's just nothing. Yeah, just, just nothing. Is this part of the puzzle I need to do? Ah. That noise in the background now. Yep. That's the shadow. I'm not a fan. Yeah. I can tell you now. Oh, there's a cock. Yeah, you are. 
Guys like the bloody crystal maze. If anyone oh, watched that. Oh, okay, it goes there apparently. Two more cars. I've got the tune in my head now for some reason. Oh, more oil. I don't actually need it. Few drops. Would you believe? Oil. Yeah, if I look at my oil now. Look at that. Whoa! How many? It doesn't say how much. Quite what? a lot. No, I've got actual. Well, can we all there? I'm fine. Really, yeah, that's, that's true. But I was looking at the little jar of one that you've got. Yeah. Um, right. I imagine uh, they're not all going to be down here, so I'm going to have to run around this place looking for these cogs. So, wish me luck. Um, oh, there's one. Turn, back. Turn around. Turn around. Oh, well there's spotted. One. Well spotted. Good eyes. Bad eyesight. I don't do bad. <laughs> If I hadn't got the lantern on, you wouldn't have seen that, probably. No, definitely not. Cogwheel does not fit. Fits there, though. One more. Oh, look at that. My there intuition was right. Hold on. <laughs> Let me grab this. Tinder. Is that everything? Oh, there's a note here. I didn't even see this. 5th of July, 1839. Today, I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful, and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may, in fact, have inspired the Globus Cruciger, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. I remember that from the little people on it, part we did. Mm. I'm thinking there is at least 20% of the words throughout the game seem to be made up. <laughs> oh my god, that made me jump. It made me jump. <laughs> Try and make myself jump. Jeez. No, I'm not. Literally, that was by accident. There you go. See, I'm really carefully navigating it now. Yeah, but now I have this feeling as soon as you put that on the wall, shit's gonna go down. Let's talk and read this first, shall we? 14th of July, 1839. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests, priests in underground temples didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest as I write. My thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful, with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. You going bonkers, Come on, man? Sorry. The more we're getting into this game, the more I'm thinking that this Alexander's a narcissistic sadist. I want to get out of here, to be honest. Right, as soon as I place... Jesus Christ. As soon as I place this, all hell's gonna break loose. Are you ready? Have you found your hiding places? Too late. Right. Here we go. The machinery needs more work. Oh, okay. So I have to pump it again. Pump it up! Ah! 
furnace. Yeah, it requires coal. I'm sure of it. And there's coal in here. Oh, I'm such a dumbass. Wow. The control. There we go. The burning is now the old cool. So if I press this down and then press this or pull it down. Oh, what? Do I have to. Is there another burn? If it's blatantly obvious, obvious guys, just rip me a new asshole in the comments because I do not know <laughs> what I'm going for. Ah, fudge. And if I go up, maybe there's another room I haven't discovered yet. Perhaps. That's the exit. Have I been in there? Oh, that looks fun. Ah, this must be the last note I've not read. 17th of July, 1839. How has this escaped me? They're all dead. Limbs scattered, heads split down the middle, their skin flayed as if boiled. I feel like I'm falling into myself. What's happening? Drugs. Sir William Smith, Professor Taylor, now Dr. Tate. Is it following me? How can it not be? It's the damn thing I brought from Africa. Something is after me. I have no choice but to trust the Baron. He better know what he claims. If he is wrong, I suspect he'll regret it as well. Again, I apologize for that, guys. If that went to the left ear, then it did it for me as well. If it went through both ears, then you go. It's just the way. And it repeats words as well. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, as I was saying, it repeats words. This is really annoying. It's like the There's game was glitching. Yeah, I can see that. Right. Eight up, eight down. Okay, maths. Three, two. Oh, Jesus. What's that? That's seven, isn't it? That oh, doesn't work, I think that's... What? Did I just do that on my first attempt? Are you serious? You actually did. Oh my god, I'm just... I did not know you knew... I did not know that you knew Roman Heroes. <laughs> I just literally bump, ba bump, ba bump, and did it. I was like, oh my god! That was, that was, sorry, that was a bit too high. Sorry, guys. Oh my god! Too questioning your manhood right now, John. Yep, Question I am literally after doing that. Oh, I, I am boned. Are it we did ready? say a few drops, but I thought there'd be a bit more than that. But yeah, go. After 10 Let's minutes, run. let's do this. That's progress. Through the Book of Monarchs, looking for etchings and counties. Nine different kings from all of Euro over Europe he has depicted with a knob resting in their hand. Is the shadow now gonna. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oh, don't step in that. Well, no way back. Jesus, it's all Down the elevator here we go. Here we go. Sir William Smith had had been marked. There was no way for him to know that the young man from the other day had such a terrible shadow. A cast in such a terrible shadow. Uh, 
than the expressway. This is, oh, here we go. And, uh oh. No, don't go. No, oh dear. Oh, that was loud. The dark towers of Brennenberg rose above the forest and were silhouetted against the snow white moon. He couldn't help feeling sad for some reason. Oh, Jesus. That was loud. I'll say that again. That was loud. Don't know for you guys, but that was really loud on my end. Right, well, um, this seems like a good place to stop. Um, right, guys, now seems a good point to end part 11 of the Amnesia Dark Descent playthrough. Um, I'm really terrified. That lift, oh, God. I think we're both feeling a bit lost for words right now. Yeah. I don't know if any of you have ever had that experience where something kind of puts the fear of God into you that much where you genuinely lose your words. Especially if you've actually been stuck in a lift in real life, may I add. Oh, yeah. that. I'm and you feel like it's, it's just going to go any second. That brought memories of that back. But anyway, like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Anything you want to say, Amy? As you all know, it's Amykins from Amykins Gaming. If you like this kind of stuff, the horror-based stuff, come on, come on over to my channel and have a look at the current Outlast 2 series. As guess who is featured? It's me! <laughs> yeah guys thanks for watching and we shall see you in part 12 of amnesia the dark descent i can't believe that part 12 has come around so quickly i know bye guys bye everyone